The port pouring in for the Tremont family who recently lost their teenage daughter. This GoFundMe page for the teen has already raised over $10,000 for the family. Police are saying that 17-year-old Soraya Monacaja was riding a bike to school when she was hit and killed by a garbage truck. R.L. Harrison at Bear River High School where she was a student. I'm told the girl just started her senior year here at Bear River High. This unexpected and tragic loss cuts deep in this tight knit community, and the mayor says they're all hurting. When the time is right, I want to reach out. Tremont and Mayor Lyle Holmgren says news of the teen's death is heartbreaking, especially at the beginning of the girl's senior year. This is a tragic thing, and nobody should be expected to go through this. Police and city officials say at the time of the accident, the girl was riding her bike on Main Street in the west side of town before sunup, an area that shoulders the highway with service shops and a higher speed limit. Garbage truck driver, city worker? No, we contract with this garbage uh, service garbage removal service and so they are it's an independent company when teams arrived on scene the mayor said the drivers stayed and cooperated with investigators he was a little bit quiet a little bit stoic and um, at the point you know maybe a little bit in shock and so that is also somebody we need to watch out you know we need to care about that person as well. According to the mayor, the area where the accident occurred is a stretch of road other kids use on their way to school too. Given the recent death, I asked if city leadership is looking to make any changes. We are looking at uh, additional light, you know, traffic lights and so forth. Kids are in school and sometimes you know, we just don't want this sort of thing to happen again. Now, the police chief said at this time, it appears this was a tragic accident. He said the girl was wearing dark colored clothing and did not have a light on her bike when this happened at the early morning hours, making it extremely difficult to see her. He said that the driver was pulling out of a business when this happened, and that driver continues to cooperate with investigators. Reporting from Bear River High, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.